Hi guys, this is my first ever gaming video, so I wanted to check out um, some games for the iPad because obviously people use iPad for all sorts of different things, uh, and I know we talk a lot about productivity and how to get stuff done with your iPad, but also these things are pretty good um, for games. And I'm using uh, here not the latest, I'm not using anything brand new at all. This is an iPad Air 2, this is an old one, and we are playing an old uh, RTS game called uh, Mechcom 3. It's always important to know what game you're about to play before you decide to stream it. So, uh, we're going to click into Mechcom 3, uh, we're going to do a quick game. I have played a tutorial on this before, but just to give you a bit of background, I was a huge fan of the Command & Conquer series when I was younger. I think I first played it using the demo uh, that you used to get on the front of a magazine on a CD. You got the first three, uh, this must have been like 1995. So um, I wanna click into this. We're gonna start off with the training mission just to work out exactly how things work. As I say, I've played this tutorial before just to get my head around the controls a little bit, but um, hopefully you're gonna enjoy this. So just knock up this volume a little bit. Right, so. Order a factory, so we need to come down to the bottom here and factory. I used to absolutely love the Commander Conquer games. I think I've played every single one, including like Renegade and all of the weird stuff. So we're just waiting for that to um, complete its construction right now. And then we drag, I believe, that over to the other side. So this is going to be a really simple training mission. But if you like real time strategy games, there's not Order actually completed. a lot on iPad that I know about. So if you've got one that you've played before, I would love to know about it. So that is our factory build. We need three mechs. And then we're going to use these to basically take uh, take and hold locations and battle the enemy. That's pretty simple, normal kind of RTS style -y. So these bad boys, you just click to select them and click uh, to move. It's very, very simple. It's not something that's difficult to get your head around. I really quite like the graphics as well on this, and it is proper 3D. Uh, you can zoom, I think, yeah, you can zoom in and out. You cannot rotate, which is a bit strange. But uh, double tap to select the group, so I guess you need to bring them all together to do that. Cool, capture the beacon, so we have a beacon. Here on the map, right up on the map. Cool. There we go, we have captured the beacon, now we have to destroy the pirate station. So send my mechs over that way. Oh, I've only got one of them. Enemy three. detected. Run away, run away. That's the reinforcements. really close together in order to uh, sort of group the group that they have But now we're all So this is the production group. This is where this is we're supposed to be. But it's very simplistic at this point. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be more units to choose from because at the moment we've got one unit and we've got one base. We've got a, a factory. Um, so let's get into a proper game. See how this looks. This is really snappy to be fair to say that this is on um, iPad Air 2, which is like a super old iPad now. Let's get a demo since that's what I'm allowed to buy at this point. And the refinery, we don't need to do anything there. This green stuff looks uh, suspiciously like it might be based on Tiberium. Let's be honest, they are probably Order basing completed. some of these things on Commander Conquer. Why wouldn't you? So we drank that in and there's my demo there. I'm sure that these beacons are giving us some form of uh, some form of extra credits as well as our harvester that's over here. So what do we need next? We need to get a factory and oh, we have an armory option as well. We've got a refinery already. Cool, that's on the way. Let's have a little scout around and see what's uh, what's what we're in the top left corner of this map. Oh, we have cliffs, okay. So we do have heights. Order completed. If we get any advantage for being higher up than our enemies. Or if it's just really kind of a border. Okay, 
That is ready. That went out well, so we build. Get an armory on the way. And we can get some units on the go. Okay, constructors. Okay. Need more minerals. Okay, so maybe we can get. Order completed. Bridge require an armory. We've got an armory. I said this is my first time playing this game, really, other than the, the tutorial just to understand how to uh, select stuff. Alright, let's have a look around. Just my vehicles. I've got. Oh, uh, we need a cannon lab, tracks lab. Okay. So you can basically upgrade these bad boys. I see. So, buildings. I can get a cannon lab. Let's do that. I've no idea when the enemy's going to start attacking me as well. This is the problem here. Can I upgrade these while I'm out and about? I don't know. So you can only select a group if they're like pretty much touching. That's that's interesting. Order completed. I think we could probably do with some defenses on the base. Enemy detected. Order completed. Let's grab this beacon. Maybe the beacons are where we can build from. Enemy detected. So if I build a refinery down here. Enemy detected. Order completed. Yes, we can. Expanding our base. Enemy detected. Detected. Yeah, these cannon guys are good. Alright, you come join them with the team. Right. Order complete. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. I'm trying to work my way around these uh, construction trees, but that's actually pretty cool. I like I like the fact we've just got one for buildings and one for one for vehicles, and then that just gives us like a mix and match kind of way of doing things rather than just having discrete units. Order completed. See what else we can find. Ah, you can stack buildings and you can have them ready to deploy when you take them. Like so, next comes a bit of turret down here as well. Keep that nice and safe. Enemy detected. Order completed. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. So I can't like the 
to announce this game. Right, let's see what else we can do now. Have we got a rocket gun? No, we've got lightning. We've got tracks. We can do cannon with tracks. Let's try a couple of those. Enemy detected. Let's get a map and an airport. Can we get flying units? This is going to be cool. Now I think we need depots to up the vehicle cap. Yeah, so you can stack three buildings, that's cool. So maybe if we bring Enemy detected. Order completed. This team. Order completed. Order completed. Let's build out this base a little. Enemy detected. I'd like to know if we can get more harvests over here. Cool, right, let's get boom, boom, we've got these options now. So we need to do yeah, a couple of those and probably an aircraft. And we're gonna see where these bad guys are coming from. I think they've got a bit more room. I haven't found a way to repair Enemy humans, active. I don't know if that's a good one. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Things on the go. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Order completed. Enemy detected. Which is a, a bit strange. I used to like Order completed. a big team of harvesters running around on the Mother Conquer. Order completed. Order completed. Right, let's build out this base. Looks 
join the squads together because it looks like just sheer brute force is the best way to uh, destroy stuff as always in these kind of games. See so if there's anything else up top here. Looks like this is kind of the top edge of the island that we're on. I'm guessing there's uh, not additional islands. I'm guessing this is just a single thing. So we are probably approaching the enemy's uh, enemy whatever's left of their base. I haven't killed everything yet. Enemy detected. So this, this is a kind of fun game actually, I quite like this. And I might get used to this as I think this was like 99 p 99 cents in the US. But it was crazy cheap. Um, for a game like this. And is it the deepest thing in the world? No. Does it have a campaign mode? Not that I found. Uh, it looks like it might have online. We'll have a look at that next. Uh, in pro fact, probably in the next video. Um, but for now, it's pretty awesome. Is there anything left? What am I missing? We must have another base somewhere that I haven't found yet. get out like way far. Aha! Uh -huh. Sneaky. Let's bring everything on. Okay, so I think this is the last building that they've got. This is a this is a fun game. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating when you're first starting. Obviously you're trying to work out how everything works. We didn't actually end up building anything with a rocket on it. Uh, but you can do aircraft. So I like this. You, you basically choose what kind of vehicle you want at the bottom based on what you've, uh, you've chosen and then you can choose the armament based on the different building upgrades that you've uh, created for the different arms basically right next to mine all the way through that. But, Maybe you have to capture all these points. You do then, I think that's the last one. Let's bring the guys down. That's been like a oh, there is actually another base here. storyline to it as far as I can tell so far um, but it gives you a little stats at the end it's very much like a command and conquer type game um, but I like it uh, what does custom games give us okay so you've got are these actually different oh no just this is just your colors cool. um, and then skirmish game dual survival don't know what that is but this is stuff that we'll have a look at in, in future videos I'm gonna play this a little bit more I think it's a pretty fun game um, and I've always liked the Command & Conquer style stuff, domination, how does this work, unique technologies. Okay, so uh, in this, you get different, or it looks like you probably get different uh, upgrades based on which um, which team you're on. So there's actually, yeah, it gives you slightly different vehicles that you're allowed. So pretty cool. I, I like the look of this. Uh, more games. This is from the same publisher. Let's have a quick look. Z-Cube, real-time strategy again, so we might have a look at that later on as well. Um, yeah, cool. I really like this. So, 
Let me know what you think of MechCon 3. Um, as I say, it's 99p. I don't think you can really grumble at that for the uh, for the amount of playability that you're going to get just for that one game and um, for the price of a can of Monster Energy. I can't grumble at it. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have played any other real-time strategy games that you think are awesome, I would love to hear what they are. Um, or any other games uh, for the iPad, because the iPad is a great platform for gaming, and I don't think enough people actually do anything with it. So hit me up in the comments. would love to know what you would like to see me play next. See you next time. Hit us up on Twitter, living on iPad. Instagram, living on iPad. Uh, it's even on the hat. <laughs>